What's up YouTube, Chicho Gaming back with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an end portal. I apologize for not making many videos lately as I've been pretty sick and I haven't been able to. However, I'm going to try to upload another video in a few hours of how to make a mob farm. Uh, for now though, I'm going to be showing you how to make the end portal and just go through some steps and show you what the end's like. So, to actually make this end portal that I'm going to show you now, you have to be in creative mode as the only way to get the end portal in survival mode is to actually use these eye of ender that I have here. What you're going to want to do is throw them in the air and just follow the eye of ender wherever it goes. And then eventually it will gradually start moving towards the ground more, not like it is now, it will not drop. It will just gradually from the sky start to go down to the ground. And when it gets to that area, you're going to want to dig straight down. It could be in the water, it could be anywhere. And that's where you'll find the actual end portal. Uh, I'll make a video in more depth on how to actually find the end in survival mode. However, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you in creative. So in case you don't know what the end looks like, or how to get there, or what the portal looks like at all, the portal looks like this when it's fully complete. And obviously when you go into it, it teleports you to another world, or dimension. Obviously there's not pigs normally in it, that is just from previous tutorials that I've done. As a matter of fact, there are hundreds and hundreds of endermen. However, that is not the reason why people predominantly come here. The reason why people come here is, as you saw just popped up then on the top, is the ender dragon, which just flew past me now. Uh, a lot of people come in on their own if they got pretty powerful stuff or in groups to try and slay this ender dragon. Uh, the only way to get out of the end is either if you slay the ender dragon or, as I'm going to do now, fall out of the world. Uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need pretty much the following items that I will show you in this chest just here, which will be 12 eye of ender and 12 end portals. So just quickly, for referencing purposes throughout the video, in case you guys get stuck, you can pause it here and look at the framework of how to make each make each thing. So that's the framework of the end portals. Once again, make sure that those two little claws things, which are here, are always facing towards you. On every one, they're facing vertically towards you if you're standing inside of the square of the framework. And just for reference and purposes, here is the end portal once it is complete. So, now I'm just going to quickly show you how to put it all together. So what you're going to want to do is start with your end portal and place three, like so, making sure those two little claws are vertically facing you when you're standing in the middle. Then repeat that process three times over so all the claws are facing you and you have the basic framework that I showed you before. Once you've done that and made sure that all the claws are facing inwards, you can now place all the eye of ender inside of the end portals. So once you've done that, before you place the last one, make sure that you jump out, otherwise you'll get directly teleported to the end, and obviously place the last one. It doesn't matter in which direction you place the eye of ender, as they all automatically face in the direction that the claws are facing. Uh, the reason for putting all those claws vertically facing is just because I found when I put it horizontally or they're all different, it doesn't always light up and work. So there you go guys, that's how to make an end portal. Subscribe, like, comment, and make sure you enjoy your time in the end, and good luck killing the ender dragon. See you guys.